Hi guys, welcome to this new video. We're going to talk about DWM and um, how to install it and all that. So it's release time this uh, week and 24 new ISOs have been released in November, mid-November. So you know where to go. I need to get my ISO as well. So let's go and download it from Seathost. Seathost is paid, let's uh, say that guys. Um, if you can download it from SourceForge, it doesn't cost us bandwidth, right? So it's important to know if you can use SourceForge, please do use SourceForge because we don't need to pay for it. And it's the same ISO. So I'm gonna get Article Linux D 2011.9, 30 times downloaded, but if you click here, you see 42. So it's uh, statistics, right? So we click here. And what is interesting is you can click on this button here, problems downloading. Now this is coming from San Diego, California, but it's still propagating over the world. So it's still, uh, normally we have a selection of 12, 15 uh, servers. So normally you can choose between all these servers. As you see, this is gonna take me too much time. It's gonna take too, too, too much time to follow. So I'm gonna get it from uh, Seathost or I could do this, I could that, that. So let's get our torrent. Maybe also interesting to show. 35 people found it already. And you just double click it. So you open it of course with an application you like. It's gonna be K torrents here since we're on Plasma, right? And the system is just up to date. I just mean it stays rolling. It's from September, the ISO, but you don't need to have the latest version. You just update and up all and all that. And you're good to go. Speed is great, all right? 46 megabytes per second, which means we'll have it shortly. Okay, the article of the, the video is all about um, Arctic Let's Let's go over the, the, the websites again, because sometimes it's, as a beginner, it's, hey, what's all these websites about, right? Arctic information. Give me information about this particular um, distro, right? We have this flagship, and the flagship is about XFC, Openbox, and i3. This is made for a starter, for people who start in phases, learning phases, take a look what we mean by that. And in here is anything Linux in general, but also XFCE, Openbox and i3 are in here per topic, per category, and you can have a look, right? The Arcanlix D, this is the video we're gonna make today, is about the Arcanlix D ISO, but in the meantime, our project became just bigger and bigger and bigger all the time. And in here, we start with the Arcanlix D ISO, which is the most minimal ISO possible we can give you. And our phase two is let's explore one, well, the desktops from the flagship, XFC Openbox i3. Those three desktops are on the flagship. And each of them has articles. Phase three is jumping from desktop and say, let's explore awesome this time, installation, and also some articles and so on. And today we're gonna make a, a video for this one. DWM installation and later on DWM articles. Later on, we'll make another Arch Linux video because in phase four is going to Arch Linux B, build it yourself or download it. And phase five is go to Arch Linux and then choose a desktop. So we are missing here DWM. So it's so easy um, to, to switch around and to um, well play around with all the diversity we have, the Arconix flagship, the Arconix D, and all the Bs, and build it yourself. And don't forget Arconix Tweet Tool. So, how is he doing here? This is still downloading, yeah, so cancel. We don't want you. It's already downloaded. Super Shift Enter. Choose your, or, or learn your keyboard shortcuts. I think it's gonna be yeah that one. So let's delete. Oh, that's the torrent. I believe we put it on the root. If I don't, yeah, here it is. He always puts it inside root. I'd rather have it in here, right? The downloads. So this is old stuff that can go. 
this is the one we've just downloaded and it's probably still seeding here he is <coughs> quit are you sure you want to quit yes i'm sure so this is in right we're going to make a video about arclix d so super f7 virtual box we make a template clone it and we call it latest arco linux d clone it we go for optical drive if you want to know the settings uh, let's have a quick look at the settings so this is what i said but if you all see older videos probably going to be different right so it's um, a choice i'm not enabling efi so i'm going for grub processors i have eight so four enable this one for inksy and uh, that's all normal and display used to be in the middle it's now here vbox svga is the best one or vbox vga is the best one but don't activate 3d and the rest is all normal all right okay check that vbox svga is here because then it knows i have 1920 of 1080 pixels otherwise look at this, this very small screen 800 and 600 or something like that so optical drive <clears throat> where is it my downloads iclix d okay so we have our iso in our system we boot up now it's always interesting to have a dual screen or maybe an ipad nearby or the computer nearby because let's have a look installation so this is the article that's already there we're going to have to end up with something similar like this one right dwm there are four options to install any desktop you install the desktop using calamaris or you just install the desktop using our scripts both of them are with arclinx d option three is use arclinx b iso which is also possible to download right just go to well let's go to information downloads again and go to sourceforge arclinx b go and have a look alphabetically more or less you can click here on name so dwm is the uh, first iso is here you can get this here this is the arclinx b all right so that's another possibility so that's this one option three and whatever you're having already whatever you've chosen in the past you can always do ctrl alt e the tweak tool right launch the tweak tool and decide to say look let's try this dwm install and it's installed so four options to get um, things going it's it's all about flexibility and freedom all right now in the meantime this guy thinks i have a very small screen right so Control F, let's wait, and a Control F again. Hmm. If it is going to do it or not, depends of the day, I suppose. <laughs> so I do a Control R reset, which is also an interesting little button, little keyboard shortcut. Control the right control on your keyboard R resets it. So now he sees I have 1920 on 1080, and we'll have a better view. So option one and option two. Option one says, look, go through Calamaris and use it by clicking or install whatever you want by clicking inside Calamaris. Option two is like saying like, whatever, I don't use Calamaris, I'm not gonna click anything on Calamaris. I'll install it with my personal scripts later on or our scripts later on, right? It's a choice. Now, depending on where you live, it might be interesting to update Arch Linux mirrors. If you intend to install a lot of stuff, right? If you intend to install a lot of stuff during Calamaris, the Arch Linux mirrors should be the one near you, right? So if you want to see the Arch Linux mirrors, this is a very minimal thing, so hence only this uh, ugly look right your xvt in white but and mirrors if you have your keyboard lists 
if, if, if your keyboard uh, is okay, you'll get these guys. So the first one he'll try to find it is this one. If this is not a good one for you, you need to select others. So that's the mirror list. If you update Arch Linux mirrors by clicking this button, this file for etc pacman.d mirror list will be updated. And it would will put Taiwan or Korea or wherever you live, right? At the top. The, the fastest one for you will go on the top, not per se per se your country, but it's gonna be the fastest in your neighborhood anyway. Alright, normally I think everybody will be quite good with mirror from Osbeck. So then you install. Um, yeah, in previous um, editions, previous older versions of Calamares, we gave the advice, go and, and uh, throw everything away of partitions. So start gparted, select any partition you have and remove it. It's advice, if it's okay, without it, that's fine, right? Uh, this um, latest release, so the 20.11 release, I've never done of used gparted. So it seems that Calamaris has improved on that part as well. So this one we don't need anymore. We can just quit this thing, right? Bye. So option one is, let's quickly give a reference for later, 32.1. Choose your language, right? Um, I want to keep it to American English, so everything will be uh, in this language and later on my operating system as well. Either you say, I'm going to click a lot of stuff. I'm sure that I have internet, so internet is, is, is okay, is, is available. Then you can say, okay, let me get the latest Linux kernel. You can open this as well to have a look. It just says in terms of Arch Linux, it says pseudo pacman minus s Linux. Why? Because the kernel on the CD-ROM, on the DVD, on the USB, on the ISO is from like some um, concrete, I think three weeks ago, right? So in the meantime, you know, Arch Linux, four or five kernels have uh, came out already. So do you want the latest to boot up in, in the latest kernel? Yeah or no, right? If you don't have internet, nothing will happen. So nothing will be, you can click all you want, nothing will be installed. And all the rest of the kernels and Zen kernels, NVIDIA if you want it, if you need it. So these are the packages, these are the names that will be installed if you need them. So you can go through all these and, and do the updates later. So if you want to have Bluetooth support and so on, you just keep clicking. But what you do need, and it did happen some, to someone, I was it on Discord or, or uh, the forum, you need to have something to um, the display manager to log in, right? So the login manager, in most cases, in all, all our ISOs, it's LightDM, but you can choose others. But know this, LightDM will work. Next. And we have DWM here, right? A lot of packages will be installed to have a working uh, DWM. Now this is option one, right? Choose a display manager. Okay, cool, done. And then go to this particular page for the desktops It choose a desktop. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to go for option B, or option two actually, and that's how we called it. You can decide to uh, install LightDM, for example, or not, and just skip through all these uh, modules. Go, just go through it, next, 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 who cares, right? I'll install all the rest later. That's the most minimal installation. That's option two, saying, just give me a basic, um, Arch Linux slash Arch Linux because Arch Linux is only seven or eight packages and all the rest, hundreds of, of them, is Arch Linux, right? And then you could go, you have certainly a black screen, a TTY, so um, it's up to you to run, um, well, commands like sudo pacman minus s lightm, lightm gtk greeter, and sudo pacman minus s xfc4, xfc4 goodies, or mate, and so on and so on, right? 
So that's also a possibility. Either do it by um, Calamari, so that's option one, or via scripts. Now I'm gonna do this via Calamaris, which is of course super easy, just a click and a click. Next, 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 next. And I can show you how to do it via scripts anyway. But of course that's double work. Eh? But I'm not gonna make two videos for it. Now this is new, swap to file, this is new, try it out. Rather than have a, a swap partition, with a separate, uh, well, partition in your hard disk for swap or no swap, you can actually say swap to file. So it's a file on your root. Give it a try. So next, go for next, and off it goes. So now it's going to make um, lots of things, change lots of things. But what's new, what's fun, and uh, has been hard work for us and for the guys in Calamaris is to make this uh, more visible to the end user that things are happening. So this is new, the number. You see actually uh, the slider go up and the number go changes and these number changes and that's, that's a good thing. More transparency. Let's go back to the page. So install the desktop using Calamaris. That's what I've done. I'll show you nevertheless option two, install the desktop using our scripts, because basically let's go over what we've done. Installing the desktop with Calamaris, display manager, LightDM with the desktop, DWM. After installation, you reboot, you end up in a black login screen. Some, some of the people on Telegram or Discord say, hey, what happens? I'm in my black login screen, that's, that's, that's normal, right? Because you need to tell the system, what did you choose? Did you choose LightDM? Did you choose SDDM? Did you use GDM or Linux? LXDM? So you need to activate the service, the display manager or the login manager. And then you can do lots of stuff. We'll decide later what we shall do. Mirror, update, scale, no scale, and then we reboot and then we are inside our desktop and this one is installing the desktop with scripts this is getting the scripts git clone all the scripts run the script number 100 we can show you that and um, that's then the Alcolinux B ISO you download and install and this is the tweak tool that we've shown already where are we installing 25 packages now in this stage it's going to get you need the internet right it's going to get dwm it's going to install the packages no internet no packages there's a problem with the internet during installation no packages maybe even an error so everything should be stable everything should be working and then all the packages coming Remember the mirrors, if you, if I'm, I'm living in Belgium, right? So if I get a server from Japan, it will take like hours for all the packages to come from Japan to me. So you take a server close to you. There's always a long bit. He's making um, the boot images. And the more you ask, like Linux Zen and Linux Hardened, he'll make booting images of that as well. So it will take a little bit longer then. The best message I can give you is be patient. Bootloader is grub in our case. And then we restart. Done. All right, let's have a look. What happens now? We're in VirtualBox, remember? So we need to go to the third line, boot existing OS. All right, a nice grub theme, some colors. 
then you have this. Some people uh, are afraid to say, oh, what's going on, right? But you made an account, you made a password. And now we're on, well, VirtualBox, and you see some information with this NeoFetch, right? That's what we show you. You know what is some information? 643 packages. Now, let me have a look. If we type this one, Arco Linux, so you know this is the amount of packages we have now installed. So since we've decided to install DWM, we have a little bit more, but it's in the, on the whole, what is it? Four, four times five, 20 packages and 64, 643 are in total. So 643 and 620. 23, right? That's uh, what Arch Linux and Arch Linux is all about. It's a mixture of the two. All right, so why is it not working? Well, because you don't, or the system can't know, what uh, do you have? Do we have LightDM? Do we have SDDM? And so on. So that's the one thing I need to make clear to him. Come on, um, I want to enable LightDM. And it's already enough to type just LightDM, but if you autocomplete, so press tab, it's gonna, it's gonna put dot .service behind it. So that's one thing I need to do. I need to enable the service, and this is good line. Created symlink, that's a good line. That's a good sign, right? The other thing is where you live. Again, uh, this is your future system. Now it's not a live DVD anymore. It's the future system. So maybe a mirror would, would be an interesting exercise. Is there a better mirror in my neighborhood? Okay, let's do that before we update, right? First, give me the best and the fastest server around, then update the system. Since this is an already an old, um, well, old, older, uh, two weeks old or three weeks old image of uh, 2011.9, it can have updates. It will have updates. It will maybe have very important updates like the Linux kernel. We're jumping from 5.9 to 5.8. So you see, we tend to have a lot of Linux updates, uh, the, the kernel updates in Arch Linux. Which means in my ears, I hear, I need to update, I need to reboot. Uh, new kernel, reboot. The key server, the keys, all these strange lines there, disabling key. So this is Arch Linux saying, this key is correct, that key is no longer correct. That key is correct, that key is no longer correct. So that's what uh, it's doing. We have our own keys, the Arco Linux keys and the Arch Linux keys are not the same to different packages, different keys. It's going to make again the, since there's a new kernel in, right? It's going to make the init rum file system there, Linux, and the fallback is now created. And it always takes a little bit of time. Again, be patient. So what we did, we did we do? The mirrors, we did an update, we enabled LightDM, well, we could do an update in the graphical part, in the DWM part. And now it's up to you to decide um, what to do in the sense of, there are so many desktops we have, right? Over 20 desktops. Either you do a scale, so you get the configuration in from etc scale, that's a folder on your system, like etc pacman.d, last line you can read now is also a folder and the contents of etc scale gets copied over to your home directory and in the case of tiling when a manager and this is the video about dwm it's important to do the scale right so scale is a must more or less not always <laughs> that's always a story right it's not white it's not black it's gray but in this case I would like to have the Arco Linux stuff that's inside this. I guess we need to do a minus AL. I want to have all that 
in my particular place. And the dot config contains the Arconix DWM. All right, so with this copy paste alias scale, let's just copy paste cp copy everything from the dot config to the config backup. So that's a backup um, scenario. And then ampersand ampersand copy rf etc scale everything to the home directory. That's basically it. So just copy paste etc scale and make a backup. All right, I need to reboot sr sudo reboot bit long so that's why we have SR put existing OS if I did not forget to enable the display manager light GM GDM and so on it will give me a screen right this is great whatever you have whatever you decided to install and click in Calamars will be here XFCE and plasma and DWM right whatever you decided to, to install is there and then we have a welcome screen thank you welcome okay fine don't want to see you again and quit or update Arch Linux mirrors why not those are different commands behind it so this one might be better for your mirrors the Arch Linux mirrors might be better as a command than the other one that we've used the mirror command. There's also mirror S, mirror D, mirror A. So different kind of commands result in different kind of mirror lists. Now, voila, Donny says, let's have a look at Control Alt T and mirror list. He changed it to mail tunnel. So Osbeck is still a very good one, but it's a second one. So mail tunnel today, this very second mail tunnel wins from Osbeck and in five minutes time maybe Osbeck is back number one right that's how it works so this is DWM it's working just fine the transparency will be there on uh, machines on, on the real metal machines this is VirtualBox right and whatever you want to do you have also you can click here for example or right click here or the middle click in your mouse is possible as well so lots of things are hidden away a little bit um, but basically we have a window tiling window, tiling window manager that's it TWM tiling window manager manager and it's ours it's not the standard Arch Linux DWM it's our script it's Coritani who developed it it's our thing and this is how you go if you install if you want to install a desktop inside Calamaris. Now let's put two videos in one. If if I was still on TTY earlier on, right, what I could have done is go for option two and just do this one. Git clone Arcanlix D and it's easy to show. It's just you are in TTY, you can actually make it a fake TTY. Control F, let's do that. VirtualBox, take a look at your keyboard, right control F3, for example. We have now a TTY inside VirtualBox. What we can do is say to the system, git clone, just type the text from, um, well, the article. Basically, it's super simple to remember. GitHub.com, that's where we are. Arconix D, that's the ISO you're using. And what system do you want? What desktop do you want? Mate? Fine. Do you want Plasma? Fine. Do you want DWM? Fine. Right? And then ls, you have a directory. cd, go inside Arco, ls, and then you start running whatever you want, right? 100 is the light end that's going to be installed, the desktop is going to be installed, 110 development software, that's something for us then. Install sound, you want a sound, you want Bluetooth, printer, Samba, laptop, PC, network discovery, software or Arch Linux, and you start running it from 100 to 800. And everything is fine. And you will have a DWM, a little bit different, um, but basically the same. The only way is that you don't use the Calamaris installer and you choose your 
uh, scripts and you can change these scripts please do please change these scripts and you can say let's take number 200 later on of course in another system come on it doesn't it does not want to voila so you can reuse our scripts that the that the scripts we have in here and um, that will be just fine I just need to use enter I suppose okay we're out of it so these scripts can be edited so with nano I could actually do that but I find my screen to be a little bit that's better let's go back for a clear nano and then 200 or something that's bit a, a little bit better so I can navigate a little bit better so we have lists you have here a list of varieties say no variety oh cool but I want Firefox as well and on GIMP would be nice and why not uh, I don't know etc etc and it just goes over the list and installs the list but there's more so here you have Atom and Melt another list for GIMP and Inkscape so I'll have it twice so it's just by category these things are named by the category development category access accessories graphics internet multimedia and you just keep on adding stuff to it things you'd like to have right so that's another way that's number well let's not save this that's number two right that's number two just go go through the installation of Arch XD, say whatever, I'm not going to install anything from with Calamaris, but I'll do it myself with scripts and change maybe our scripts to your scripts and have your own uh, setup and everything. All right. I hope it has been, uh, has been educational. I mean, I don't know if you feel what I'm feeling. There is a lot of freedom here, a lot of flexibility here. You can do lots of things. You have four options to install a desktop and you can start very easy, right? With an Arclinux B ISO, just go to the Arclinux B community and download the ISO and you'll have, after a nice, beautiful, fast Calamari installation, you'll have DWM. Then it's of course, okay, uh, how should I work with DWM? That's something else, right? But the freedom to, choose between all these options is, is so great all right have fun guys cheers